This is Coach Michelle from NEMA Chicago. I have a great workout for you guys today. It's going to be a seven minute AMRAP. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible within that time allotted, which today is seven minutes. So we're working as fast as we can, trying to get through as many rounds as possible of the exercises within that time frame. We have four exercises. The first exercise is gonna be two reps, but we're going to add two reps every round. So we start round one, two reps of that first exercise, and then the other three exercises stay constant in terms of reps. So two reps, 12 for the second, nine and six. So multiples of three and we go down by three per exercise. All right, well, let's go over these exercises. I'm gonna write everything up for you so that you also have it written and can follow the workout. Okay guys, so like I mentioned, we have four exercises. The first exercise is gonna be two reps and that first two reps and that first exercise is going to be man makers so there are multiple parts to a man maker so pay attention to this one now we are going to put our dumbbells right on the ground for a push-up we start in this plank position remember butt not too high up not too far low now squeeze the glutes push up from here we have a plank row another plank row feet come in Weights come up by my shoulders, and I've got a thruster up top, okay? So you've got two of those for the first round. Then we have 12 snatches on each side, or 24 double snatches, whichever you prefer. What I would recommend is if you have a heavier weight that you would like to do a one-arm snatch with, go ahead and do 12 each side. However, if your weights are not nearly as heavy as you would normally do, then double snatching works just fine. All right, you guys, so for this snatch, we're going to start all the way down here, knees bent all the way into a squat position, other hand behind you, wherever it won't get in your way. I'm holding onto this dumbbell. You're keeping it nice and close to your body as you come up. Remember, you're using your hips to help you get this weight up. Going into this upright row position, a quick flick of the wrist up here, and this weight goes straight up, right? So now I am not doing this with my arms straight in front of me. It's an upright row, flick of the wrist all the way up. And like you just noticed, I did a bit of a hop. That's because I'm using my hips, my lower body to help me get this weight up. That's a one arm snatch. Now, if we are doing doubles, we're starting still all the way to the ground in this squat position. I'm gonna have these vertically rather than horizontally. And all I'm doing is bringing them up and into a press as fast as I can. It's a little, still the same kind of movement, just slightly different. And if you would prefer to do a double snatch, the same way that you would do a one-arm snatch, that's totally fine too, um, but technically the correct form would be to do them right here in between all the way up. Okay, now that's 12 each side, 24 if you're doing doubles, and then we are going right into nine bodyweight squats. So nice and easy, dropping the weight, feet about hip width apart, shoulders back and back straight, coming all the way down, Now as quick as you can. Remember, this is as many rounds as possible within seven minutes. And right after, again, reps go down by three more. So we have six push-ups. Push-ups, hands go under your um, shoulders. And if not, you can have a little bit of a wider push-up, totally fine as well. Here we target the triceps, here we target the chest and the back a little bit more. Now, I'm in a high plank position but not too high, not too low. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, all the way down. And you have six. Then you start round two. Remember, we are adding two reps to that first exercise, the man makers. 
So you have four this time, since you started with two for round one, four for this time, and then the rest of the reps stay the same for the three other exercises. Once you get to seven minutes, make sure to remember how many full rounds you were able to finish. Take a two minute rest, and then start over again, a seven minute AMRAP. However, this time what you will do is start from the round that you finished. So for example, if I did seven minutes of this and I was able to finish through the round of six man makers, I'm gonna start at six man makers. Again, all the reps are the same for the other exercises and go down to four to two, okay? And complete that for the seven minutes. If you have some spare time at the end of it, go ahead and go into a hollow hold, go into a high plank, into an elbow plank, some sort of core exercise that'll keep you engaged through the rest of those seven minutes. Now, always remember to stretch up after, warm up before, use one of our body weight Linda exercises that I've posted before, um, or anything that'll get your blood pumping. You can do some jumping jacks, you can do some high knees, you can do some butt kicks, whatever gets you moving, maybe stretch out even a little bit during your warm up, and then move on to this particular exercise, all right? Make sure your body is always nice and warmed up to make the workout safe. All right, you guys, see you next time.